All right, now I want to talk about using Google Webmaster Tools to improve your search rankings. So here I am, I'm logged into the dashboard right now, and I'm going to go over to Search Traffic and then click on Search Analytics. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, increase the date range here. This is just the last 28 days. So let's set a date range to, well, let's do the last 90. All right, and right now I'm on Queries, and I'm going to put in Impressions, CTR, and Position here as well. So why is this interesting? Well, we've already identified one place this is interesting. When I filtered by click-through rate, I can see that marketing for programmers is doing quite well in terms of click-through rates, and maybe I want to double down on these queries. So. I might even just go marketing for programmers and look at where am I on this list. Well, look, I'm not in number one, number two, number three. Man, I'm not even on the first page of this, of these search results. So marketing for programmers is a great set of keywords for me to use in my content. And I'll use these keywords for blog post ideas. So right now I'm going to go in here, click a new post, and I'm going to write in marketing for programmers. All right. And then I'm going to save that as a draft. And this is where I keep content ideas, things I'd like to focus on. So marketing for programmers, digital marketing video tutorials for developers, what is a dev marketer? These are drafts. And Startup Marketing Checklist and Marketing 101 for Developers is other content I've already published. So let's go back here again. The other thing we want to look for here is the keywords that are getting a lot of impressions, but we're not getting a lot of click-throughs on, and we're not ranking very highly for. So let's just keep going down here. Some of these are not applicable, but some of these will be. So marketing to developers, that could be an interesting one. There's a lot of impressions. We're 12.6 in terms of position, and we're not getting very many clicks. Marketing for software developers has a lot of impressions, and again, not getting very many clicks. So, so there is another opportunity, right? I can go back here and click Add New Post again. Marketing for software developers, right? And really the idea is to match these keywords exactly. I'm going to write content later on, or you might be the kind of person that wants to hire someone to write content, but you're basically just identifying what keywords they need to focus on in order to improve your rankings here. Here's another interesting one, marketing for developers PDF. Um, getting about 72 impressions, but look at that, lots of click-throughs. So that's another one I will likely highlight in my content. I'll have a post called Marketing for Developers PDF Download, something like that. All right, so I'm going to go write a blog post right now using these keywords, and then I'm going to show you what I do after I write a blog post to, so that Google starts ranking those keywords right away. All right, I'm back. Just finished writing that blog post. You might be wondering how I would even get started writing something like this. And in this case, I started with this tweet that someone had sent me, and I used that as an inspiration to write this first little bit. And then this section here, I grabbed and modified from an existing email course I'd already written. So I just grabbed the first two lessons here. So here it is. And this is the call to action at the end that I want people to subscribe and get the startup marketing checklist and a five email sequence. Okay, so now I'm ready to publish this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here is how to get Google to crawl this right away and start ranking for some of these keywords immediately. So I'm just going to grab this part of the URL and I'm going to go back to Google Webmaster Tools. I'm going to click on the crawl menu and then click on fetch as Google. That will bring up this page here. Now I'm going to paste in that end of URL and I'm going to click fetch and render. So now Google is taking a look at that 
found it okay. And now I can click this button that says submit to index. So I'm going to crawl only this URL. And it's amazing how fast this will start showing up on Google search results. So now if I go back to Google and search for those keywords, I should start to see results right away. And look at that, marketing for programmers, it's right there, number four on the first page of results. And that happened almost immediately. So as you can see, this technique is a great way to see opportunities where you could improve your search rankings and for you to generate content and get it indexed right away. And after you've done this, you should see the ranking of those keywords in search analytics improve both in terms of position, clicks, and click-through rate.